Ooh. Ah, oh, that's better. In this video, you will learn several methods of how to hide your outlines in your drawings and why I think you should. Let's do this. So we all know that the real world doesn't really have outlines around things. We know that they're a human concept when drawing. They're a way of trying to show other humans what we see or what we want them to see. We substitute things in the real world for symbols that all can understand without words or explanation as to what they represent. Humans have been using symbols for tens of thousands of years to communicate to others and we still do so today. Children use symbols in their art to signify their experiences and surroundings in the same way, a bit like a pictorial shorthand. They draw what they feel and what they know and understand about the world. You may have heard art teachers saying, Paint what you see, not what you know. This is just to encourage you to step away from the use of symbolism in your art and instead really look and study what's in front of you and how you perceive it. Then as your skills develop with practice, you'll be better at recreating the world around you and how you actually see it without having to rely on your preconceptions and pre-knowledge of how things we think are supposed to be. The contour lines we draw when sketching art are a graphical representation of value and form. We show these through different weights of line and mark making. They tell us information about where one surface or object ends and another begins. There are four key main elements that our brains use to determine where these divisional lines should be. So firstly, there's a difference of tone or value. One object is lighter or darker than another one immediately next to it. Second, a difference in texture. Using our experience in the world, we can recognise different textures without having to feel them with our hands. Three, a difference of colour. Difference again to tonal value, a, different, a difference of colour is sometimes a visual indicator of different surfaces or objects. You can have two identical objects of the same colour but a different tone, which is easy to see the difference, or the same tone, difficult to distinguish, but a different colour. And fourthly, a difference of depth perception or spatial depth. After a certain distance between two points, the sharpness of focus can't be maintained between them at one moment. So our brain can only conclude that if one object is out of focus and one is in focus, that there is a spatial depth between them. So remember when rendering your final artwork that the outlines we drew in aren't there because they exist in real life. They are there as a guide because of one or more of these four reasons. These outlines are all place markers to tell us how to arrange tonal gradients, our colours, our textures, but as these lines don't exist in real life, if we want realistic artwork, we have to cover them up. So one main reason not to show your outlines in your work is that outlines are a prominent part of cartoons. Your work won't look re as realistic and it'll look flatter and less round and 3D. So some ways in which to lessen the prominence of outlines would be as follows. One, if using pencils, hold them further down the overall length so as to decrease the amount of pressure you can apply to the surface. Secondly, sharpening your pencils with a long lead showing. This encourages you not to press too hard in fear of breaking the lead. Three, don't use a soft lead as they're, they're much harder to erase. But on the other hand, don't use a very hard lead as well uh, because you're, you're liable to score the paper as well. So stay between, say, a, a 2B and a 2H. Fourthly, use a soft kneaded eraser to roll it back and forth across the outlines to pick up the excess graphite. This leaves thick lines instead of dark lines, but be careful not to lose your lines completely. Fifth, if you can if you can, use the same medium as you're rendering or painting with to draw your outlines. So this way the outlines that may still be visible will blend in with itself better and not stand out as dark lines. Six, blend out the lines with your pencils. So as I mentioned earlier, we can see some outlines due to a difference of tonal value. So blend out the contour line between them by turning them into two different tones. The correct tones, of course. So using these tips on how not to show your outlines will greatly help to improving the realism of your artwork and will prevent it looking too cartoony and flat. 
Instead, it will give a much better illusion of 3D form. And speaking of better, you will make me feel better if you subscribe, watch, like, comment and share my videos whenever you can. I'll be very grateful for your support. So bear in mind all these points when you're drawing your next piece of art. And I'll see you in the next video coming up. Take care.